Morning, everybody. Welcome to Working Horse with Jim. I have some hay to rake. If you remember on our last video, we actually mowed some of my second cutting clover and I didn't finish the whole field, but I got a portion of it done and we're gonna round bale and wrap it. I was going to use Lady this today, but she hasn't come in from the pasture yet, so I'm not gonna go chasing her. And it's not a very big piece. We have 10, mowed around the field 10 times, that particular field. So we just have to rake it up into double or triple windrows for Owen, my neighbor, to come up here with a round baler. So I decided I'm just gonna use um, Bill today and maybe I'll even have Brenda drive a little bit so I can do some droning um, while she's raking with him. I, she doesn't think she's ever used him before. So we'll have her try her out. Try, Not we'll single, have, I don't think. Okay, we'll have you try him single. He works really nice single actually. So I'm just gonna grease up the rake and uh, yeah, then we'll get rolling. Well, it's a nice afternoon to be out here with Bill. He's doing a good job. He knows where to go.
careful careful Jim said he could fix the corners later if I didn't get them quite close enough Well, the hay is round baled by our neighbor, Owen, and it's time to go pick up the bales and bring them up to the wrapper. So Ken and Baron are going to do that job. One load should do it.
yours. Okay. look like they're fairly heavy and wet and the field certainly is still wet Jim just made a, some little ruts with the skid steer picking them up Careful step. that this is getting to be a pretty heavy load. Got two more to put on here. Gee. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, we're going this way. Huh? We're going this way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Put two on and we'll carry one down. Okay. Well, that makes sense. That way he doesn't have to, we don't have to go back down through that wet hole.
Good job, boys. field and Bill, I mean, Bill, Bill raked the field and then Ken hauled that hay in. So they all had a little bit of work today. Darren just hauled the hay in. Ken's getting a little, or Bill's getting a little bit of outdoor time. You watching, <laughs> you watching horse TV, Bill? So we ended up baling 10 round bales. I had Owen bring one bale down with the tractor and baler and he dropped it off right here and I already bailed that one up, the one that's not marked right there. And so now I'm getting, starting up the tractor and uh, then we'll bring the skid steer around and load up the bale on the on the bale wrapper. Brenda's actually mowing the lawn right now so she's not able to film and I wanted to show you guys more on my new bale wrapper but uh, I don't know I did something wrong I thought the drone would work perfect and then it started out good and then I did something wrong and I seem to have lost all the footage of the actual wrapping so I'll have to show you that some other time but uh, anyways we did get started on the wrapping and got them all done no problems at all actually right here I'm taking a bale off the wagon and these bales are so heavy the top bale I knew was going to fall down on the wagon I didn't want to hit really hard and break my wagon so I actually kept my bottom bale kind of here to hold that bale from hitting onto the wagon quite so hard I think my cows this winter will be really loving this nice grass that they'll get to eat during the cold winter months. Well, hello everybody. It's it's the next day. It's in the morning. It's an overcast day. But yeah, we're going to do a couple things here. We want to weigh Duke and Earl. Jim's kicking the cows out. And Duke and Earl are in here. We got their halters on. And Jim's going to put them in stalls because um, Bill and Ken are outdoors. And so he's going to use their stalls. And we'll see how they all compare size-wise behind each other. Here comes, comes the rain. rain. Brandon, stand right there and grab. Duke can put him in his, in his stall. Duke, are you coming? Unless he doesn't come and I can He's go get him. He's not coming. I'll go get him. Hey. I gotta tell you, these horses are just still as sweet as can be. I, um, they were standing there and I put their halters on and they just are just, just as sweet as can be. So here we have our three Stuffix. We have Baron, he's a four-year-old. And then we have Earl, he's a three-year-old and he's, these two are full brothers. And then Duke is a three-year-old also, and he is a half-brother to both of those guys. So the reason I want, brought them in, we'll do, just do some brushing, and, but before I do that, 
I want to get them weighed up because I haven't weighed them up for a couple months now. And I'm curious to see how they do um, look like on the scales with their weights. I thought maybe we could compare them in the stalls, but it's hard it's hard to compare them size-wise, you know, just looking at them. Right. If you stand right here, though, Brenda, and look across, or even jump in this other stall back there, it seems like Duke is the smallest, then Earl, then, then Baron. Yeah, which... A little bit of a pyramid. Which is what it should be. Yeah, because we've always kind of expected that that Duke here will be a little bit smaller than Earl because his mother was a little bit smaller, we believe, than those guys' mother. Well, wasn't he? The, he's the youngest, too. I'd have to think back. There was a couple months difference in age, yes. Or at least six weeks. Because <laughs> um, we took, when we left, <laughs> Earl was just getting weaned right then. It was I Earl? I mean, Duke, just, Duke, 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 yeah, I'm Duke sorry. Yeah, Duke was just getting me, yeah. Just to make everything confusing. <coughs> Want water? We've got the little mini mite in here this morning. Brenda, go grab a handful of grain for me, please. Uh, there's actually some right here because she didn't need it. Okay, let's go see if we can get them on the scales. Oops, still a little thirsty. So here I'm coming with, with Duke. Uh -oh. I actually brought a little bit of grain in my hand because originally I had a little trouble getting them on the scales, so I had to cheat with a little bit of grain. But today was surely not a problem and I haven't done this for quite some time. And he's doing great. 15.55. Are you serious? I am serious. That's 150 pounds. Well, he's a big boy. More than last time. Come here. And I'm proud of him for being so good getting on the scale. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Steve, get your butt over there. Get your butt over there. Come here. Good okay. boy. I will bring Earl out. Okay, I might as well leave it. Right around there. Well, they're both drinking, so that's good. Some I'm not sure if it's, if I honestly could say, ah, oh, the lovely sound of rain on the roof. We've you, had so much rain this summer, it's. You should be thankful for that. But the I rain. am thankful for it, just the same. I got to go show. I got to show you guys Kenny out here. Kenny and the kids. He was like looking over the fence. And all those kids keep hanging around over here. It's just so cute. Kenny, what are you doing with those kids? Huh? Spending time with the kids? Babysitting? Hey kids. Well, we better get back to work. It was worth getting a little wet over. Okay, so we'll take Earl on and we, he's, Earl's always been a little bit heavier than Duke. So I expect he will be today, but uh, I didn't expect Duke to be anywhere near as heavy as he was. So let's see. Big brother? No, uncle. Hey. Come here. Uh, it's a little light, but not too much. But, uh, Off of close to that 1600, isn't it? Yeah, it's like 95, I'm going to say. Yep, 1595. Hey. Big boys. Come here. Kimmy. Well, you like it up there that well? Come on. <laughs> Come here. Come here. You coming? <laughs> 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 
He doesn't want to, he doesn't like to step down. Now there's a horse that knows how to get on scales and stand still. There surely isn't a lot of room in here. Okay, go ahead and write that down. He's catching up to Baron. 1640. Okay, so then wait up. It's raining outside. I think I'm gonna give Bree her a little bit of a lesson. It's so good to just as it's good to take Lady away from Bree, and Bree is learning to stand alone. It's good to take Bree away from Lady so that Lady has to stand alone without her coat. If you, hap if you happen to have missed our, I guess our last video, I think, um, we did weigh up Bree. And so you could go back and see what she weighed in our last video. Mom and dad were a little bit nervous about their little one going off. <laughs> it's amazing how well Bree does with, she can hear her mother winning in the background and she doesn't seem to be concerned and she walks right through here next to this tractor which she's never done before and uh, yeah she's she's doing really good I'll just give her a quick lesson today walking around some junk here in my sawmill getting her used to things like this more of these kind of confined areas that she is getting, you know, trusting me to, to not let her get hurt and she follows me. Um, that's a really good thing. Of course, one has to be careful also because there's dangers in these small confined areas also. I'm gonna come up here into a really even smaller confined area and just see how she reacts and hopefully she'll be fine. Really, really, really tight, tight corners here, tight situations. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ho. 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 Ha, bear. Ha. 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 I think now, one of course, I'm saying ha, and and almost acts like she knows what that is, but she doesn't. But it's just a good... Uh, Good way to start the training process so that when she's a mature horse, she'll know her G's and Ha's fairly well. Do you think she does know Ho? Cause nah. Oh. She just knows you stopped. She knows I stopped. Because people have asked at what age do they start knowing. Right. But it does seem like she Me. is really starting to catch on. On my last video, I had asked her to come up onto the scales from this side here, and she wouldn't do it. I didn't, I didn't fight with her at all, but she didn't do it. So I actually came, as I showed you in the video, I came through the barn and came up from the other side, and uh, she was great to come that way. Um, but this is kind of going away from her mother, so um, it did get, cause me trouble that first time, but look at that. Oh. Let's weigh you, Brie. You want to get weighed again? Well, she's already been weighed once, but go ahead. Okay. It's, Give me. It's, with the camera and everything, it's too hard. Yeah, that's fine. It was good. But you can good go practice. back to you can go back to the last video if you missed it to see what she does weigh. So since it's raining, that's all I'm going to do for today. I was going to brush her before we did the video, and I didn't, so I'll have to brush her too. She's got sawdust on her back. Okay, why don't you, uh, yeah, start with the whatever. 
Duke and Earl, maybe? Dookie? I think of the two, do you think he's a little more cautious and afraid than Earl? Uh, I would say yes. I would, I would too. Although more so in his younger years, I think as like today, he was super, super good. Mm-hmm. So. Her hair is pretty. Um, I, I just love this for, for hair. Uh -huh. Monica gave it to us and um, I use it on Barron every day. I just love it. When these colts, these colts have been outside all summer, and when animals are outside, they surely can get in disrepair. I guess you could say their manes get bad, and they they get uh, dirt all over and whatnot. But they have an incredible way of just cleaning themselves, also. Um, they, yeah, because they haven't been. They haven't been brushed for months. They've been outside, so. And so. That's not good right there. <laughs> but they still look quite nice. Well, we could film Brenda brushing horses for the next half hour or so, but we, I guess we better call it quits on this video. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys have a great day. Have a good day.